Angel Love TV family. family. We are back with another video. video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And please don't forget to share with anyone and everyone you believe will love our content. Bye. No, today's up been long. <laughs> Guys, my phone's moving mad, but I just uh, have a feeling gonna, it'll be fine. You're gonna explain what you got because we got completely had, different. No, we do. I had, I have spaghetti bolognese. I just loved it on a Tuesday. I think. I think that's just my thing. And you have. And I, <laughs> excuse me. What do you have? I have a bowl of homemade Canadian style black beans. I uh, no, I mean baked beans. Yeah. So it's like a Mediterranean style. Mm -hmm. With a uh, sliced up sausage, fried sausage, mm -hmm. and mix vegetable pickles to go with it. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you can see a pile of bread. Very unique. So, this is. I don't even know how we're going to do a thumbnail at this oh, point. Oh, no problem. I got an idea. Mediterranean style. Oh. I'm going to let your. <gasps> Yeah, keep the Mediterranean style. <laughs> Maybe just keep two. Yeah. Okay. Mediterranean style. Oh, and we've got bigger drinks. We're, we're very confused today with our food intake. Yeah. And then we've got biggers and fruit punch. Everything was so trying I'm, to go I'm, wrong. I'm putting some of this oil in here, so. Okay. Okay. Mm. We fell for something completely different today. Now. We did. And we just start cooking. We did. I don't even know how to title this video. Confused. Actually, <laughs> yeah, a confused concoction of different um, mm. cultures. Because the thing is, you see this, it's not like the baked beans you buy on a, no, it's on not. a shop. It's completely different. Mm. My one's a fruit punch. Have you mm. got fruit punch too? Yeah. I love these cups. I thought I got these cups. Mm. And what it is, when you put liquid in it, it changes colour. Your one's purple. Is it? Yeah. Mm. I think I've got a serious love for spaghetti bolognese, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. Mm. Oh, and I've got some water. I didn't get you some water, did I? You can have some of mine. It's okay. Cheers. I would say bigger. Bigger. Mmm. Good day eh? with the ice. When it's super cold. Yeah. So I so, want to ask you. Ask me. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna jump right in. <laughs> Take time with me on. How did I make you choke? I didn't fling the food down your throat. Oh, I'm gonna blame someone. <laughs> no. Come on, mm. talk, talk to me. So, have you seen what's going around with Cat Williams? No, but I see something that's going around. <sighs> Man, I didn't get guys. I said on this is going to come out. Mm. On Wednesday now, because mm -hmm. YouTube decided not to schedule. I scheduled the video mm -hmm. on the desktop, and for some reason it didn't come out on Monday. No? no, so this was supposed to be Tuesday's video, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, I was supposed to show sh show you some clips of Cat Williams going absolutely hammered in, and. Uh, we was, was going to meet Steve Harvey as well. Huh? I saw a video earlier, actually, mm -hmm. but I was going to send you, but I thought, oh, we don't know if you did that. No, this is what I want to talk about. Oh. Cat Williams' situation. So what happened was, he went on his show called Shay Shay mm -hmm. and did a two and a half hour interview 
like the whole the whole interview was exposing people but i would say like maybe 65 percent was mm. um and literally oh my god mm -mm. exposure is too deep so i was supposed to show you clips but Oh, I forgot. Anyway, I haven't seen I haven't seen properly things like but just, I've that's seen. why I wish you did see like one or two. Okay, so there was one where he exposed Steve Harvey, mm -hmm. basically saying that he was trying to take Bernie Mac's spot when he had a movie. Mm -hmm. Um, he exposed Kanye West. Well, he, the way he spoke about him and Kim was just too deep. Um. He exposed so many people. Who else was the like the highlight? Uh, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. What was it? Will Smith. No, no, Will Smith. Not Will Smith. No. Well, he mentioned him, but not like that. Oh, um, Martin. Martin Lawrence. Lawrence as well. Um, the I don't find him too funny though. I don't find him funny at all. No, he's alright, but not. Anyway, he was exposing him because when you look back. A lot of them were trying to say, oh, he was a drug addict and stuff like that. Mm. And like, he was, I think he was just tired of it. He was tired of them lying. Like Steve Harvey was lying about, because you know Steve Harvey with like Bernie Mac and stuff. Yeah. They go like, like all they were all brethren, but really he was kind of jealous of the man. Bernie was a legend. Like, uh, you could never find another character like Bernie. No. You can't replace him. It doesn't matter what yeah. what slot you put him in, he's always gonna highlight. Mm. It's always gonna make your part difficult if you're not good, basically. Mm. Cat just went ham. He went so ham, it was scary. But he must mm. be, he must be Barbie. I never found him too funny on as a com as a comedian. Was alright. How about Cedric the Entertainer? He exposed that he was teething some of his jokes because Cedric don't write. Um, to me, I don't find him funny at all. Cedric the Entertainer, he has his moments, but he mm. doesn't write his, his material. So he exposed that he doesn't write. Mm. That's like saying a rapper don't write. That's deep. A lot of them don't. <laughs> no, some of them do. The majority of rappers do write. But that I know don't. of. Like, to be an actual rapper, you have to write lyrics. But I said a lot of them don't. No. They go out ghostwriters. Some of them. They, mm. Mm, no good. Mm -mm. I've been in the studio for quite a few days. Now, well, I've seen a lot of and they're all right. They put them on the spot already. They may not be the. Some of them may not be the greatest writers, and they have someone to help help add to it. But the the people that I've been in the studio with write. The question is, if anyway. it, is it good enough? That's the question. Mm. Anyway. But what I'm saying is is that um it is kinda like that, like if people feel like that's not their lyrics, like Little Wayne doesn't write. I feel like it's more in America they don't write as much than the UK. Because mm. the UK they're writing. If you're not writing, they're not looking at you twice. Hmm. I feel like it's a real American thing because I'm telling you, I've been in the studio with a lot of them and i would say 95 okay let me not exaggerate i'll say like 90 percent were, were writing if um, i percent were trying five mm -mm. percent had a co-writer but i'm always being around because even this is a cut with a big even uh, ice cube was chatting something but okay so what happened with that with friday after next mm. so ricky is it ricky the comedian rick the comedian or rick son he basically was trying to say that cat williams was supposed to be father christmas you know the the, the crackhead in the movie okay so he was trying to say that was supposed to be his part originally but Cat was saying he's chatting rubbish because his part has always been Money Mike mm. in the movie. And he was saying initially Money Mike only had a small part 
Money Mike only had a small part, mm -hmm. but because of how well he did, he started to write a lot of it for the movie. Mm -hmm. And they started extending his part because he did so well in it. Mm -hmm. So he was saying that Rick was chatting rubbish, but I think one of the biggest issues for the comedians why he was going for Steve as well is because Steve was trying to say that because he had an interview at the Shay Shay as well mm. um, YouTube channel with mm. this same interviewer and <clears throat> he, oh yeah he oh my god there's other people that just came to my head but anyway so he was basically saying that a real comedian mm. has like shows like they have Netflix shows and he's got 12 at the moment mm. and he was like if you're so great if you're so big how mm. come you ain't got one because technically, as a comedian, he's saying like comedians are supposed to continue being a comedian. Yeah, regardless not, of what they're doing on set. Yeah, regardless of being on movies or whatever. Like any Murphy did, despite him having movies, he still had his sitcoms and stuff mm. as a comedian. So he was saying like, not being funny, but what happened? And Steve Harvey in his other interview tried to say that, oh. Um, the reason why I didn't continue was because he had seven shows. Sorry. He had seven shows. Mm. It's like Family Feud, all those different shows, all at once. And he had to um, continue with them to yeah, obviously feed the family. But Cat, mm -hmm. with Cat Williams was saying he's chatting rubbish because at the time when he stopped doing it, it's because Cat destroyed him in one of his stand ups. I heard. I heard about that. Yeah, and, they, and the, you know what's deep? The internet are finding all the receipts of what he's saying, you know. Mm. Every receipt. He also was saying that so he's talking rubbish. Then he checked then he was saying that he was jealous of Bernie Mac and he was trying to like steal his part on one of the movies he was doing. He then mm. oh man. <laughs> but that was going on like Bernie him and Bernie Mac and a few others that like Pause. Well, clearly, really, well, after he found out that, that Steve Harvey went behind the scenes, we went behind his back and mm. tried to steal his part, he never did because it was supposed to be, I'm assuming it was supposed to be Kings of Comedy too, but he refused. Mm. Yeah, the exposure was scary, man. And oh my god. Then he was exposing, you saw like the Kevin Hartz and stuff? Mm. He, no, sorry. Steve Harvey, he was saying, Steve Harvey's chatting cack about how he was homeless and stuff. He said, 25 years ago, mm -hmm. Steve Harvey was making $3,000 a show a night. Mm -hmm. So how was he homeless? He's, they're just stealing people's stories to make it look like they came from the bottom and he didn't. And then, oh my God, he exposed, um, what's his name again? The one that plays... Um, the movie with Jackie Chan, that guy. Oh, Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker. He exposed him too. Did he? Kind of, because he was basically, <laughs> you have to see it. He said he's basically moving like Einstein. Einstein. Before we leave that. Mm. Um, but I know he was waiting for everyone though. Everyone was getting it. Mm. Because they're giving his false narrative that he was a drug addict. He's got eight kids. He's adopted seven kids or eight kids. Mm. Two of them are his his brother's children or something like that. Yeah, because uh, he, he, uh, I saw the video and he was saying, oh, if you look at all of them, they all married a, a light-skinned wife, which in so many years they have never done a private interview. Or something for like that. 20 the, years. Yeah, for 20 years. Did you see that video? I didn't, I didn't understand what he meant by that, though. So the... Uh, uh, he I, said weird looking. <laughs> He's so rude. I need to hear it to, to explain to you what you meant because I, I can't remember exactly. Because you know, no, you, I, I saw what you said, but I just yeah, don't understand I was just kind of brushing through it. I didn't really. I, I kind of got what you were saying, but I was just brushing through it. I didn't it. get it. I didn't I, understand. I need to see the video again, probably to kind of explain to you what you meant. Because you tried to say they're aliens or something. Mm -hmm. Weird faced. I said what. Yeah, he's gone in. Sometimes, you know, you go do, you go do, expose these people that do wrong to you. Simple. If they say a false narrative and he's mm. tired, tired of it, he's going to expose them. And not one of them said he was lying. 
Even Ludacris got it. Ludacris got it hard. Not saying that he wasn't basically Cat Williams is basically saying he didn't take the short route where in other words wearing dresses for movies to, to be don't joke. That's what he's basically saying. Because they all basically he said that one of the directors tried tried to do fellatio. Asked him to do fellatio at that moment. Do you know what fellatio? Where's that? Flurries. Oh, hello. With everyone around, and they said nay. But that he's basically saying, when he said no, how come these other men got these parts? He said there was no other way in. So he worked really, really hard. So he goes, he's, you know, he goes, you know, I'm rich, I am. I've got P, bro. He's more rich than them. Because he's got Netflix, 12 Netflix shows. He's got P. He's a very like intelligent guy. That interview showed how he was very well educated. Even um, as a comedian, Cat Williams is funny as well. He is funny. People started taking up pictures of... Oh, there's so many pictures. There was even parts of movies I've never seen Kevin Hart do. I was shocked. They've all put up on um, Twitter. Buggy is I don't know the name of the movie yet, yeah, but they put the clip. You know, Shaq. There's a movie where Shaq. Oh man. Shaq flings him over the car, starts moving mad. And then there's another movie where he's like, where Kevin Hart is like, doing certain things with a man in the bedroom. And I was like. So basically what he's saying is, all those movies open doors. Mm. When they do those movies, it opens doors for them to do other movies. But if you say no, they'll make it look hard for you. And to be honest with you, I 100% understand what he's saying. They're not going to put you forward because they can't control you. Mm. Simple. And they, cut, and they sign things. He said they sign things to say there's certain things they're not allowed to say. Whereas because he's never agree to it he can say what he likes he yeah. hasn't got no contract <laughs> i cringed half of the time because i was just like everyone like ludicrous tried to come because he was saying with ludicrous he he basically he said ludicrous ain't really doing it and he's making how much 10 million a movie mm. and stuff like that he's like how he didn't work mad hard to get that so basically saying you move mad inside to get what you're getting. And then the thing is their responses have never said that he lied. They've responded but they didn't say he was lying. But anyway, anyway guys, guys, please let us know your thoughts on the cat yes. I know we we touched on a few little parts, but we want to know your opinion yeah, and your thoughts on what part really thoughts. threw you like. Because loads of it through me. I, I need to go back and watch some, some of the videos. They, you know what I like? What they've done? They've done little clips mm. of part, like the main ones. I'll show you that. Okay. Anyway, guys. Thank you. So much. For, for watching. watching. Until the, the next, next time. time. Peace.